Here we are back in April with the Toronto Blue Jays. As guys, if you caught the last episode, we were crushing it through May. But for some reason, I forgot to save. I don't know what happened. I can't tell you what happened because I don't know. So we're going to get cruising here and get into a game. Last episode, we didn't play a game just because I wanted to simulate a bunch of games. So we are going to go up to this series against the Minnesota Twins. And let's get rolling right through with a couple wins and a couple losses. But mostly wins here as the Phillies are offering us a trade. Daniel Skimmer for Abdubal Herrera who is only a C potential, 81 overall right now. So he's not the greatest center fielder. Could be used over in uh, right field with uh, Dominic Brown. But uh, you know what? Daniel Skimmer, a very good second base prospect. That's the reason. I really don't feel like giving up Skimmer. He's got good speed, good contact, very good vision, discipline, clutch, and... Decent fielding, not the greatest, so we're holding on to Skimmer. He's only 19. We're going to de decline that trade and keep going. We're 21 and 10 so far this year, and make that a couple more wins and a couple more losses here as we're going to go on a hot streak, sweeping Cleveland in three games over a span in May. I will take that every day. We are four and a half games ahead of the Red Sox for the division lead. Marcus Stroman is on an absolute tear, 6-1. 5.07 ERA, mind you, not great. Tyson Ross, 4.50 ERA. Colin McHugh, a very good ERA at 3.38 and 4.0. And Hin Jin Ryu, even better, 2.47, 0.98. Marco Estrada, not doing great, not doing terribly either. Really, 120 whip, 4.38 ERA, 2 and 1. Wish he could be doing better. Danny Farquhar on the bullpen, doing it all right. So is Aaron Loop. Henry Casto. Well, he's been the fall guy in the bullpen. There's always a fall guy in the bullpen, and that'll happen to him once in a while. Drew Storm, 491. And what can be said about our man, Roberto Osuna? 15 saves, 19 innings pitched. Guy is fire. Let's go through the lineup. Tulo, 290. Kevin Plar, 263. Eden Carnacion, 1939, 295. Josh Donaldson, 1021. Russell Martin, 1-6, and six, so he's, he's not doing great at all. I think we need a trade for a catcher, so instead of doing a game, we'll look for a trade for a catcher. Ryan Zimmerman, 6 home runs, 23 RBIs for a 312 average. We'll move him up. Corey Dickerson, 6 19 two, ten. Well, Dominic Brown, he's on a cold streak, but 8-14, not bad. And Ryan Goins, 3 home runs, 19 RBIs. Our bench, well... Trevor Mesa in 36 at-bats getting it done. Dominic Jeffries getting it done as well. Joel Reinecker getting it done. And Darwin Barney, everyone on the bench except Trevor Mesa, is batting over 300. So we have a very good bench rate. And we are going to put up, uh, let's see, what do they have for catchers on the trade block? Wilson Ramos, B, 80 overall, 30 years old. He's a 78 actually, that's not great. Johnny Manel, not great. Uh, let's see here. Catchers, catchers. Tucker Barnhart, not good. Uh, anyone else? Austin Barnes. Jason Castro, who is actually an 80, down to an 80 because he's mad about being on the bench. We could pick up Castro. He's 60s, 50s power and very good fielding. So really, Russell Martin, you know what? We're going to initiate a trade, and we're going to trade away Russell Martin at this point. That brings it down heavily. And of course, remember, we've got Edgar Ornelas coming up. So Edgar Ornelas is going to do the job right away. And we are going to trade away Rich Vega. No, Daniel Skimmer would get it done. Uh, but budgetary constraints are a problem. So we'd have to take something back. So let's see if we can get uh, Felix Chavez. Not going to be good enough. Chris Armez, not going to be good enough. We need a good bolt. Good kind of guy that can go down to the minors and play for them. Garrett Evers, I mean, Joel Reinecker would get the d job done beautifully. Uh, Reinecker, do I really want to trade him away and bring up another uh, guy down in the... Ah, oh, geez, this is a tough situation. Um, let's see here, just trade. Let's see, if we go Garrett Evers and Russell Martin, MLB ready, no trades were found. Let's get rid of Jason Castro and MLB ready finding trades. Let's see if we can find any trades here. This is always a handy menu if you didn't know. 
Zach Britton, we could easily acquire Zach Britton. Caleb Joseph, Matt Cain, all them, no thank you. We need a catcher really badly here. Nobody in there. Deonor Navarro, we're not bringing him back. Deonor Navarro, that's not happening. Alex Avila, definitely not. I uh, wish I could select just catchers. Uh, Kurt Suzuki, not happening. Let's see, we could acquire Chris Davis. That would be a beautiful pickup, but unfortunately, you know. Josh Pegley, not happening. Steve Clevenger, not happening. And nobody really of any quality. Fetty Davenport, not happening. No closers there. No closers there. No closers there. Or no catchers. Pardon me, I'm looking at closers. What am I doing? And really, oh, Alex Cologne, no. Nope. Chris Ionetta, no. Nope. Really, no one offering anything. Willington Castillo, well, we could bring him in, but Russell Martin is still better at this point, so we might have to hold on to Russell Martin for the time being. Austin Hedges, while he's 25, B potential, 75 overall. Not really what we're looking at, and really there's going to be no trade, so that is okay. We will hold off on the trade market for Russell Martin and continue going through this San Francisco series and we're going to win against Minnesota. We're going to win out against Minnesota. And how about that? Wow. Nine straight wins in series. And then how about 11 going back a couple more games? And this team, what are we winning by? 5 0, 4 3, 6 1, 10 8, 7 4, 7 5, 5 3, 15 7, 4 3, 4 0, and 6 4. So nothing below a 4 on the board over these past few games. That is huge. Tulo getting his swing back. Pilar Incarnacion killing it. Hey, Josh Donaldson, Jodo killing it at 233. Ryan Zimmerman getting it done. Russell Martin over a 205 average. Corey Dickerson, 233. All right, this team is looking great. This team is looking awesome. So that is the thing. We need a trade for a catcher. Let's go through the catchers and see who would be available. Caleb Joseph. Blake Swihart at 80 years old, or 80 overall, down to an 82. He's mad about his contract. He's got one year remaining. We could pay him if he grows. The Yankees have Brian McCann and this Gary Sanchez kid who, you know, Gary Sanchez, he would be really happy as a good guy, and he'd be a good backup to our man, Edgar Analis, once he gets up here. Mike Zanino, who's a 77. We can't have him. Deanna Navarro, we're not looking at. Jan Gomes, we could pick up Jan Gomes. I know he used to be a Blue Jay, so maybe he could pick up and be somebody on the team. I don't know. Salvador Perez, he wants to be a star. He's down to an 84, but still an 84 is better than nothing. As you see, he's batting 245. Uh, any other good options here? Uh, Jonathan Lucroy, 82. He's a platoon player. He'd be happy to play every day. I don't know, uh, who else? Tony Sanchez, not really who we're looking at. Devin Mezzarocco, he'd be star power to bring in, but I mean, he's a great player to have if we could bring him in, but look at how much he costs. That's the problem. Uh, Francisco Cervelli, not really. Um, anyone else? Matt Weeders, 31 years old. A lot of power bringing him in. Only have him for one year. Buster Posey's the only other choice. So guys, let me know. Who do you want to see added to this team as a catcher? As always, let me know in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Yak City Gaming. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out these playlists to my right. I've got some awesome videos for you to browse through. And if not, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.